in this playwright tutorial we are going to see what are hooks and how to implement hooks in the playwright framework so let's understand what are hooks so hooks are nothing but the block of code and that will be getting executed before executing your tests or after executing the your tests so these are the four hooks we have in the playwright tool the very first one is before each second one is before all third one is after each and fourth one is after all so let's understand what exactly each hooks does we have the before each so that name itself says that this particular block of code will be executing before each test and coming to the next one before all so this is a function so it will contain the block of code that block of code will be getting executed before executing all your tests and coming to the third one and fourth one so these two are exactly opposite to the before each and before all so after each is nothing but so this block of code will be executed after executing the each test and coming to the final one after all so this is a function it contains the block of code and that will be getting executed after completing the all the test execution so let's see how to implement hooks in the playwright so i will navigate to the vs code now so here i'm creating a one spec file inside the tests folder hooks dot spec dot js that's it guys so i will go to the one of the spec file called first test dot spec dot js file and i will copy the all the code from the this particular spec file and i will come inside the hooks dot spec dot js file so here i have copied the first test spec dot js file test into the hooks dot spec dot js file so let me explain what exactly this test is doing and we will update the test name later so firstly we are navigating to the youtube youtube.com then we are searching with cypress by tester stock so that means we are entering this particular text in the search text box then we are clicking on the search icon so and once we got the results we are clicking on the playlist and the, then we are validating the title of the web page so that's it guys at high level so here i will rename the test name as hooks in playwright so that's it guys so if you see here if i'm having right now i'm having only one test and if i need to write the 10 automation tests like this so i need to use the await followed by the page dot go to so this precondition is required for each and every test case that means launching the browser and entering this particular url so i don't want to write it in the all the 10 automation tests so i want to keep it in only in single place so that will be used across the all the test so that's the reason what i'm doing is simply i will cut this particular part and i will place it inside the one hook called before each so let's implement the before each now so here i'm using the test object and here i will add the test dot before each so here we have to say which hook we are using then here i'm adding the name of this function as run before each test that's it and followed by this i'm using the async async function so here i'm adding the page object and followed by that so i'm using the arrow function that's it guys so simply i will paste the code which is launching the browser and entering the url right so now i will run the test so now this time also it should work fine so let me run the test now and if you see here it has opened the browser and also it is entering the url and also it is navigating to the playlist and it is validating properly 
and if you see the test results also our test is getting passed right now so here i will add one log that's a console dot log and here i'll add the message as running before each test that's it guys so this is how you can implement the before each test or some data you want to clean up or some data you want to create it so those kind of functionalities can be implemented inside the before each now let's let's implement the before all also so it is very much similar so here in here we have to replace this before each with the before all and here i'll say before all test and i'm not doing anything inside the before all so simply i'm writing the one simple message called running before all test that's it guys say for example if you are having test data which you want to read it from the different sources it can be the csv file excel file json file so that data can be loaded inside the before all hooks so if i run the test so this particular block of code will be getting executed before running any of the test so as of now we have only one test so we will try to use the sorry guys so we should not use the page object here sorry guys so we should not use the page object inside the before all so let's remove that and let's run the test now and we will add the same test once again then we will have the two automation tests so it is able to navigate to the url and it is performing all the actions properly and our test is getting passed also so i will take the same test and i will create a second test and i will remove some of the actions here so simply it will navigate to the youtube.com and it searches with the cypress by tester stock so instead of cypress by tester stock here i'll say api testing by tester stock this time and here i will say the test name as hooks in playwright 2 so that's it guys so right now we are having to total two tests so before running this particular test so our browser should get launched and before running the second test also it should launch the browser and it, and it should perform all the actions so here i'm going to the testing and then i will run the hooks spec file so far we have implemented before each and before all hooks in the playwright and let's quickly implement the after each and after all hooks also so firstly it is searching with the cypress by test stock and second time so it has to search with api testing by tester stock and if you see here so it is able to search the search with the second set of search keyword and if you see here our two tests are working fine so as i said before after each and after all so those two hooks are exactly opposite to the before each and before all so here i'll say after each and i will update the description and also i will update the log also so here i am not doing anything inside the before sorry after each hook also and here i'll say after all and same thing i will update inside the console.log say for example if you want to clean up the data or if you want to close the connection with the external external sources so those kind of things can be written inside the after each and the after all so if i execute this particular test right so let me trigger the whole test and we will go back to the report and we will see in which order all the hooks are working and also we'll see how the tests are getting executed also so firstly it will work the before all and then before each then test then after each and after all 
so this is a usual order playwright test will work when we are using the hooks in the playwright so if you see here so all the two tests are working fine so let's go to the report And if you see here, so our tests are working fine. So I will go down and I will click on the STD out. So if you see here, so firstly it is running the before all test, then before each test, and after that, running after each test. So this is the very first test. That's the reason after all test is not got executed. So if I go to the test two, so this is a test which got executed last, and if I go to the STD out. So here you will be able to see the firstly before each test, then after each test, then at last it is running the after all the tests, right? So this is how you can implement the hooks in Playwright.